it was uh, discussed previously. This is aside from the resolution and contract uh, to create the TIF district as a means of paying for the acquisition and some of the uh, construction. Uh, once a plan is developed, uh, we don't have a plan. We've had conceptual discussions and conceptual drawings and that type of thing, but we do not have a plan. Uh, I assume that will be forthcoming if this is approved this evening. Uh, the TIF district included the 22 residential apple tree uh, and the car property, which is 10 acres. And as we pointed out, the uh, consult our TIF consultants uh, said that this would qualify for a TIF. Uh, and that it would, you were accurate in that uh, it would uh, create uh, $1.5 million uh, to go towards reimbursing the city for the acquisition and for construction. And that's after making the school whole. Uh, the TIF district, the situation with the school, all of this comes later. All these discussions come later. There are public hearings required, notifications required, all of those things. So, like I said, all of that is after the fact uh, and similar to our other TIF discussions and meetings and public hearings and decisions. So, regardless of the outcome tonight, well, I guess if this is approved tonight, we still have a, a, a lot of work ahead of us. And we'll start the TIF discussions tomorrow if it's approved this evening. Because, like I said, we're closing two and a half months, so we want to get that uh, underway. So, really, I don't know what more there is uh, to talk about, you know, from my side of things, unless you have some questions. Well, there may be just that, gentlemen. And this was all approved, or not approved, this was all reviewed by our city attorney, and him and uh, Greg's attorney went back and forth for a while. So, anyway. And my two cents. I, I, I mean, we've been over it back and forth. Who's in favor? Who's opposed to it? Um, I'm one of those ones in favor of it. However, um, I think that this is the first step, and we need to, after we purchase in the property, ensure that the TIF is in place and mm -hmm. running smoothly, um, and we have a plan prior to even touching the land. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't want to do this on a prayer. If this doesn't work out, we've got the land as an asset that we can turn around and sell and, you know, liquidate it. Um, I, I really feel strongly about not jumping in until, you know, that TIF. And I know that's not up tonight to talk about, but, you know, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's important to me individually <laughs> that we're taking, in my opinion, we're taking an opportunity that's come before us that this land is cheaper than anything else we've got, uh, had before, for it's smooth, it's ideal for it. However, there's other pieces that need to work out to make this whole thing work. And I just don't want to jump in with all our feet and then a year from now being saying, oh my gosh, we got ourselves in too deep here. So, uh, that's I don't my expect opinion. any of us to have the answer to this question, but I feel obliged to pose it. Where does the city stand should the TIF not be successful? I hear ringing sounds. <laughs> I, I would well, be in favor of liquidating land. I, I understand. You can always farm it. Yeah, well there's n numerous things that could be done with it, but how is it paid for if there's no TIF? That, that is, right there is my issue. I said before, if we're going to do this, just buy it. Uh, but the TIF has a lot of if. If people, you know, Carl, great. But if the other lots aren't sold or are sold very slowly, how are we going to, what are, what are we going to do? What's the plan? Well, so I'm a planner, yeah, and if it's by the ground, set up the TIF, and when the TIF generates money, then we build whatever we build. You know, that seems to be more fiscally responsible mm -hmm. than buying the ground, setting up the TIF, build it all, and then hope the TIF produces so we can pay ourselves back. Mm -hmm. 
The only thing that I could respond to that with, and it's not necessarily in defense of the whole concept, but it is in a way, it's a very limited tip. Not, it's not going to rely heavily on a huge area building out. And in a period of 23 years, I would, I would really find it unlikely that that 22 lots aren't going to build out. It's that defined an area. Right. But uh, I do understand and, and agree with what you're saying. It's difficult to project and then use money on those projections. I know there's a time frame that the TIF consultant plugs figures in and it's not instantaneous. You know, it's over 23 years span and they're not, he's not saying 22 lots are going to be sold in five years. Right. Uh, you know, that all those projections are based on a one fairly controlled, year. yeah, one or two a year. And he's still coming up with a million and a half in 23 years. But if we do, in fact, include Carl in it, we know Carl's in there, and that'll start generating revenue in a couple of years, theoretically. No less. Yeah. Well, we're, we haven't discussed the other leg to this triangle that the uh, consultant brought up, and it's after we own the land, we can apply for several different grants from federal and state to for development, but you can't do that if you don't own the land. You can't apply for the grants. And, and, and taking Mike's philosophy and applying it towards that statement, you, you can't count on those grants either, for sure. for sure. You can apply for them, and it'll be great if we get them, <laughs> but you can't, you can't take that to the bank. So we have to have a contingency in our minds how this is all going to work out. Well, do we have any idea of what the operations and maintenance costs might be? Have, has anybody I don't. checked well, these other places that have these It's all going to depend upon how elaborate we go with, with our facility uh, and everything. I mean, how quickly we're going to jump into it. Are we going to ease into it? Uh, are we going to do it all at once? I mean, these are all questions yeah. that we have to answer later. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to have to sit down and, if it's approved tonight, we're going to have to sit down and start planning. So then that's when, when that will all be determined based upon what we're going to do. I, I think one other <clears throat> issue to go along with what Ben said, you know, with the third leg, I would say there's a fourth leg in, in, involved with uh, the volunteers that we will have to be able to use uh, the facilities that will put forth their efforts, I'm sure. The soccer clubs, the, <clears throat> the other traveling baseball leagues, they'll be more than willing to help. And in addition to that, we've also had expressed interest from corporate sponsors for uh, money towards uh, putting the fields uh, up and getting them running. So there, there's enough interest there, uh, and there has been for a long time, that uh, I, I feel it's a, it's, a, it's a golden opportunity as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and. I, uh, when the first TIF district was created here in Monticello, uh, out uh, north uh, of town, I was a little skeptical myself as to, well, what is this all about? But uh, as, as I read further and studied and then became a council member and we helped create the TIF district, <coughs> um, I've seen that TIF districts uh, do work, that uh, a, a considerable amount of money can come in over a period of time, and that. Uh, that TIF money can be used for uh, infrastructure. I wouldn't necessarily call this a, a blighted area, but uh, one of the terms that the, uh, uh, the, the Dan Walker uses is uh, areas that are underutilized. And at this point, um, that uh, almost 31 acres is underutilized. And to be uh, included in the TIF district along with the lots that are in Apple Tree uh, 3 there and then the Carl lot, uh, I feel that in the long run, the TIF paying for it, uh, in essence, we can use our own money and then pay ourselves back, just like our intentions are with the water tower project, if I'm not mistaken. So we can use our own money and then turn around and pay ourselves back as it comes in. So, you know, your contention of, well, we'd rather pay for it with our own money right now and then see what, basically, that's what we can do. We can pay with it our own money now ourselves back. If it doesn't come to fruition, well, we've got some fairly valuable property that we can sell. I think it's a, in the years I've been on and the plans I've seen and 
the different properties that we've looked at, um, this is by far um, the best. And, you know, there's plenty of, of support uh, in the community, not just from, you know, the, the clubs and the, the traveling teams, but from uh, many, many people saying, you know, it's about time we had something like this. So many other towns uh, uh, took the step a long time ago, and they're reaping the benefits from it now. The tournament, I believe, they had over the 18th and 19th. Uh, uh, try to get a room. Uh, go to the restaurants. Um, you know that brought a lot of people to town, and that that helps. And, and by having a, a premier facility, that'll just increase. That'll just increase. So I, I see a lot more positives uh, to it right now than than I ever had. So that's why I'm picking. I've heard twice that. If it doesn't work out, we'll have a piece of property to sell. So, am I to understand? I, I want this. I want to understand this and make sure we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. The plan right now is to buy it, set up a tiff, and then wait because you can't sell it if you've already put stuff on. I can answer. In my in my opinion, the plan is to buy it now, set up the tiff. Don't do anything with it until it's TIF set up. We're not necessarily going to generate re revenue immediately right. from the TIF, right. but things can get built. You know, we, we can start, as things starting to get built, you can project that those taxes are going to come in in the next year or two because the structure is already there. It just takes a while for the taxes to catch up, if that makes right. sense. Yeah. And if the TIF doesn't work out, um, if it doesn't uh, get passed or something like that, my intention would be to flip, turn around, and sell the ground. At one point, I'd like to interject uh, with regarding a comment you made about selling a piece of ground if, if things are built on it. If, I would suspect there's going to be a minimal amount of building actually going on. You'll have fences. Well, well, fences they can be taken out fields, easily. Kind of yeah, but, but you can pull a light pole and a fence up like that. So you might have a block house for restrooms and, and recreation. Uh, concessions, but it's not going to be a massive building that's well, going to be difficult yeah. to sell ground. I'm, I'm so we would go ahead and once the TIF is, once the in, tip place, is in place, well, I'm not saying we're going to. This is a discussion that's going yeah. to have to come before the council yeah. when that time comes. We're not making that decision this evening. I had not envisioned any hard structure being done maybe for a couple of years. I do envision the grass being sown mm -hmm. and two-thirds of that property is, is not ball fields, it's soccer, soccer fields mm -hmm. and it's it's but other things mm -hmm. which can be used with minimal impact. Minimal yeah. impact. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I did not envision we turned right around and said, you know, let's go. <laughs> That's not just taking a chance of it with this opportunity. Any further discussion? Gentlemen on the right side. Thank you. Can I have a point of clarification? Because you know, if you do go out and buy these fields and then build the structures, then wait 20 years to get that money back, you are in essence taking that money away from something that could have been used for sewer or water trigger retention or whatever. In the short and, term. And then you'll be paid back over 20 years. So that money is being taken out of the coffers. In the short term. Yeah. Mr. Mitz? Lord, have you uh, looked over Dan uh, Walker's uh, tip projection very carefully? Well, I, I wish look, you I, I wish looked him over, were, but I, I wish you were here. I, I would like to challenge him. I think he's greatly optimistic. If all 22 houses were built, the city's share of the taxes with that would be roughly $25,000. The city's share, 57 cents, I think our share is. Um, I'm a little concerned about the payback schedule. I assume on October the 15th that we will be taking money out of reserve to buy the land. Or are we going to have a, make a loan? That'll be a decision for you folks to make. Okay, if we do, um, 
it was taken out of reserve. Uh, how much is it going to cost to develop the property? We've got infrastructure, you know, water, sewer, so forth and so on. Uh, there could be a few hundred thousand or Mm -hmm. Where's that money coming from? Um, well, and, uh, and that yeah. too will be a decision this council is going to have to consider. Yeah, certainly, the time a, certainly impacts us long term and short term. Be the biggest impact on Walker's report is a three million dollar investment of cars. Uh, we don't know what the assessment on their property is going to be yet. No, we're just going by what they said they're going to spend. Here, no. right? Anyway, um, I'm really conflicted on this issue, Mary. Uh, I have two grandchildren that uh, I hope to be here to watch them play. Um, we do need baseball diamonds. No question of that. Uh, soccer fields, yes, we need them. Uh, we haven't done anything about finding any any place else, so I guess we need to get them out there. Uh, that's a concern I have that we haven't done anything about that for the last six years. So I see a need for definitely a need for baseball diamonds, and I don't know where else we could find them uh, realistically. Any further discussion? Why? Well, just looking at it, it looks to me like we're talking a million bucks out there. Okay, that's a million bucks. So what? Now we got all these kids that's going to want to play ball. We're all rivers on, we're going to get them across the river. Then we're going to have to build a bridge on across that road because we can't have them riding across the road and blacktop on out. What additional expense is that? Well. Actually, I was just talking to that Floyd before the meeting about that. I'm out there at the ball diamonds all the time, and there might be 100 kids playing ball out there, and I see two bikes. Two bikes. I just don't think that there's that many kids right now that are biking to their um, uh, ball, ball games. games and everything. Um, so does that mean the little leaguers are going to stay out at the tourist preserve? Well, I, I think that that's a recreation Call. I mean, there, there is still going to be ball fields out there, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. and that's a that's a Department of Recreation call where they slot everyone, you know. But I just this concept of bikes, people being on the bike out there. Yeah, the older ones probably can bike out there because we will have the bike path. But I I just don't see that many bikes when I'm out there with my kids <clears throat> that kids have ridden to the to their actual ball games. I don't know if anyone else has had a different. Now, I know my kid always rode his bike to the ball games, but you're right. There were only a small handful of bikes at the game. Mine being one of them. And again, my kid on the key, you know. Yeah. Tiff, the biggest words, if. Yeah. That part scared me, the mm -hmm. if part. Mm -hmm. yeah, if I can just add one more thing. Yes. If the land is bought, now's the opportunity for the or different organizations and everything to fundraise and everything and help make this a reality, I mean, in my opinion, that um, this is going to be a huge project for the city. And like Ben said, there's, there might be grant money or anything like this, but um, it, we can't bear all the expense. Right. Well, I think at this point, uh, the chair would entertain a motion, and there's always room for discussion. <clears throat> Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion that we approve resolution 2009-36 include in the uh, minutes uh, and in my motion that uh, our intentions are uh, upon uh, purchase of this property if this uh, resolution is passed that we uh, create a TIF district uh, to help provide the revenue to reimburse the acquisition costs and construction costs associated with the project. I'll second that. Any seconds? Any further discussion you'd like to pick up? Now's the time. Stan? There's a way that Tim stated that motion. Is that setting in stone how we choose to pay for it up front? No. I heard nothing that said any stipulation on how it's paid for, other than we're going to start it, we're going to develop a TIF. Okay. 
Okay, barring any further discussion, it's time for a vote. Kudamar? Yes. Brown? No. Hiller? Yes. Hayes? Yes. Eads? Yes. Mintz? Present. Murdoch? No. And we have two no's and four yeses, and a present is considered a vote with a majority. That motion passes. There's some work to be done post-haste. Moving along.